Hello and welcome to the HiDoc channel. So I've been a bit quiet in the past couple of weeks, but I've not been idle and I've been developing a, a new application. So let's go into it. Here it is, the Payment Origin Country app for PayPal. And it does all that it says here on the start screen. This tool will show you the country of origin for any PayPal payments, even if your customers have chosen not to reveal their country of res residence to you. So if you are a seller of digital goods and you're tax registered, in, in most tax legislations you only have to, um, to send the, the tax for uh, transactions within your own country to the tax office. But if you sell digital goods, many customers just will not tell you their country of residence and you end up paying lots of taxes on transactions which would have been tax-free. So for that reason, I've made this application because it affects me personally and I've not found any way to extract this information from PayPal except through the shopping cart API. So this application connects to the PayPal shopping cart API. If you're watching this video on this very small screen here, this is the screen where you can watch this video and you, you've not gone full screen, I would ask you to do that. Now there's a small, a small square here, please push that square to go full screen otherwise it will be quite difficult for you to see anything on the upcoming screen shares the application is not freeware i'll go into the licensing details later but because it helps you save money it helps you to make money i'm asking for a contribution back to me um, but let's get into that later. So that's the main screen. There are lots of parameters you can put in, but the easiest thing to do is just choose a time frame here. So let's let's go for just for today, for example. If you start that, it would show you all the transaction of today however I've not received any money today so it just gives a small message here in the message bar nothing found so let's go back a week transactions of the last week these are basically the the donations you awesome guys sent me on the Windows ISO downloader so thanks again for those Let's have a quick look what came in in the past week. So that's all the information that's on PayPal anyway. The first couple of columns up to type. So you see the amount, the name, the currency, the transaction ID, etc. The country is only available through the shopping cart API. And for just for matching things, I've also included the information that your customers choose to make available to you. And as you can see, in most cases, um, my customers have not chosen to share any of their um, of their um, address, country, uh, etc., with me. So all all that all that we have here is now the um, the country from the um, from the shopping cart API but that's so much better than having nothing and paying taxes on all these transactions but how does PayPal know how to connect to your PayPal account and not to mine so let's go to settings. Here in the settings, you let PayPal know that it's you. And you don't put in your username and password, but you put in your API username, your API password, and the signature. How do you get these? 
Okay, let's have a look at the PayPal site. You get these on the following address www.paypal.com slash business profile slash my tools slash API access slash first party slash signature. If you don't want to type all of that in and you have a business account, you can go through settings. It's um, This is only possible on business accounts. On personal accounts, you, you can still go to to this URL and request your API access, but only on business accounts you can go through the settings. So in the settings, you go to API access. In the API access, you look for the um, NVP SOAP API integration classic manage API credentials and you're on that screen again and from here you can either copy and paste your your credentials API username API password and the signature if it's not yet available available here it's also possible to create these credentials here so you copy them paste them in the settings screen and save that you've only got to do that once next time you open the application it will remember your settings but let's go let's go back to the licensing model again so because you you use this to to save money to make money i'm asking for a contribution back it's not much in fact if your quarterly paypal revenue is less than 2000 euros or the equivalent in your own currency I've decided to make this available to you for free. If it's more than this is, um, then this is a license model based on trust. In in fact, I have to trust you that if you if you use this to make money, um, that you send me your contribution back. Uh, if it doesn't work, if there is major abuse, uh, then I will have to cease doing that and introduce a, a proper licensing some some sort of subscription model which is definitely going to be more expensive than here the lower levels on the current model so it's free if you are a very small business because i want to support you i want to support small businesses i want to help you get started as easily as possible if you make moderate income it's still a very moderate um, a very moderate license fee here however if you are a big business if you make loads of money i'm going to ask a higher contribution from you um, please also do pay this higher contribution it makes up for the smaller um, for these smaller amounts and for the free users. Okay, I, I think that's that's it. If you have any more questions, just ask in the comments. One question might be the download link. Um, until I have a proper landing page for this application, I will just put the direct download link in the description box and later on I will replace that with a link to the landing page. Thanks so much for listening, for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.